Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure Grafana 11.3 on Windows operating system. I am going to perform this action on Windows 11, but the process is same on all Windows operating systems like 10, 11 servers. Okay, first go to Grafana official website that is grafana.com. Then click on docs, then select Grafana then click on setup then select then click on install grafana then select windows see you can install grafana using windows installer or using standalone windows binary file we are going to install by using windows installer okay so click on grafana download page see here we have the grafana latest stable version 11.3.3 one. Now select Windows. See here the editions Enterprise and Voices. I am going to install Enterprise. Then see here we have the Windows installer and standalone binaries. We are going to download the installer and install. Okay, so click on download the installer. No need to register. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. See, the size is 197 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Click on Grafana Enterprise 11.3 MSI file. Click on it. Click on More Info. Click on Run Anyway. Then click on Next. Accept the terms in the license agreement and click on Next. See, it is going to install Grafana Enterprise and run Grafana as service. And see here, this is the installation directory. If you want to change, click on Browse and Change. I am okay with the default one, so click on Next. Now click on Install to install Grafana Enterprise. Click on Install. See, installation has been started. See, installation completed. Click on Finish. Now, go to Need tab and give the local host colon 3000. This is the default port for the Grafana. Hit Enter. Now provide the username and password. The default username and password for the Grafana is admin. Password also same admin. Click on login. See now it is asking us to change the password or you can skip. Okay. So I am going to change. It is not mandatory but change the password. Then click on submit. See, this is the Grafana page, welcome page. Click on username. Then if you want to change password, you have to click on change password. Or click on administration. Then select users and access. Select users. See here we have the admin user. Click on it. If you want to change password, you have to click on edit. Then we have to provide the new password. Okay. These are the ways to change the password. Now go back to home. Now if you want to connect to database, click on connections. See here we have the different data sources. Suppose if you want to connect to PostgreSQL, search for data source for the PostgreSQL. See here we have the PostgreSQL. Click on it. Click on add new data source. Okay, this is the name. You can change the name also. This is then port number. See here we have to provide the post url i have installed process equal on this species so give local host then colon port number is 5432 database is i have r schools username postgres then provide the password then ssl require disable set the version see here we have the versions from 9 to 17 17 is the latest one okay then click on save and test see database connection okay but if you give ssl mode to require then if you try to click on save and test see ssl not enabled okay so you select you have to fill all these details so i'm not going to so disable and click on save and test okay see connection database connection okay 
and again go to con data sources see here we have the one database connection then if you want to connect to mysql data source click on add new data source then search for mysql click on it see this is the connection name okay here port number is 5432 then give the local host 3306 is the port name then provide existing database name have the same database name in this mysql server. then provide username provide the password in the same way now click on test and save and connection see database connection ok ok if you go to database sources see here we have the two database connections if you want to build a dashboard you have to click on build a dashboard then you have to add the visualization import panel import dashboard we have different options ok if you want to see the settings see here we have the gen general settings like annotations, variables, links, JSON mod. See, this is the JSON model. If you want to create alerts, you have to click on alerts, then manage alert rows. If you want to create new dashboard, click on drop down, select the new dashboard. If you want to create user, again go to administration, users and access, users, then click on new user. Then you have to provide username, email, optional, this is optional, and provide the here we have to provide user full name, email, email, username and password. Then we have to click on create user. This is the way to create user in Grafana. Again go back to home. If you want to see the version of the Grafana, click on this question mark. See here we have installed Grafana v11.3. Now go to services.msc. Press G. See here we have the Grafana service. It is up and running. If you want to stop, right click and stop. Now go to this Grafana page and try to reload. Click on reload. It will be not see unable to connect. See this site cannot be reached. Why? Because we have stopped the Grafana service. Now go to services, then click on start. Now go back to the console. See it automatically up. Okay. If you want restart, right click restart or select the service here, then click on restart link or select this restart button. All three options are same. Okay. After installation, go to downloads directory and remove the downloaded Grafana software to clear the space. Okay. So in this video we have seen how to download, install and configure Grafana 11.3 on Windows operating system. Then we have seen how to connect to Grafana console. Then we have seen how to create the data source. Then we have seen how to stop, start and restart Grafana service on Windows operating systems. For more Grafana tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.